it sounds so cliche, but it really is true. Where there's a will, there's a way. There's no excuse. You could either make excuses or you can make money, but you can't ever make both. Do both. And it doesn't yes. matter. And people look at, you know, someone like me now, it's just funny when I go to events and I speak and, you know, sometimes they, they may not even be able to relate to me unless I tell them my story where I came from. And, mm -hmm. and it's funny because what I would, you know, my advice for people like that is to just don't wait and don't think that you have to be like uberly successful before you start um, doing something because mm -hmm. that's just not true. Because guess what? When you're, when you become successful, then sometimes it's actually more of a turnoff to people because then they can't relate to you. So that's what happens no. when I speak now. It's just so funny. It's like, you want to get to this level where you can show the credibility, the authority, the success. And then when you get there, yeah. people are like, oh, but he could do it and I can't do it. I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> what? yeah. But, so <laughs> but if only they knew. I know, no, that's, that's a very good point. Very good point. And what they could do if they don't have uh, the funds, like you said, let's say extra income. So you can start small like I did. I started with mm -hmm. just uh, seminars. And before that, I started with a book. You know, so mm -hmm. there's no reason that anyone can't get a book. And if you can't mm -hmm. afford a book from Amazon, go to the library. But here's one thing that I realized with the majority, not all, but the majority of successful people that teach and really have a, a, this burning desire to really transform people's lives, even when they charge, because they know their value, they charge a high amount. But if yeah. you can't afford that, they're not looking for your money. That's not the primary goal because not one more sale isn't going to do it for them. You know, but no. what they're looking for is someone with a drive, with a fire, with a passion, with the a passion. burning desire. You present mm -hmm. that to them and let them see it. You might get no. How many times did Les Brown get no before he got hired at that radio? Day so after many. day after that day. That powerful story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, so I just love stories like that. And mm -hmm. um, so, so just don't give up and try. You know, you, you, you see a, a mentor or a speaker or a coach flying into your area to do something. Go back to the old school things like, hey, let me give you a ride. Let me pick you up. You know, let me mm. get you coffee. How do you like your coffee? How about that? Mm. And just have a five minute conversation with them. Once they see that you're in their face and you're doing it in a, in a respectable manner, you yeah, know, don't be creeped out by it. But <laughs> there's so many ways. Get creative, start brainstorming and you'll, you'll get there. The people can't say no. And one might say no, the next one might not. And maybe 10 say no. But that 11th could change your life. All you need is one person to just change your life. One conversation, one idea can just change things for you. So start out with the book. Follow mentors, see where they're going to be. Try to get there, go to seminars, you know, um, follow. Now there's so much information available just even on YouTube. You know, when mm -hmm. I started in personal development over 20 years ago as a teenager and I started in, in home-based businesses and stuff like that, there wasn't that. You there wasn't the internet on your own. get it for free. Yeah. And you had to pay a lot of money for these audio tapes that cost so much, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So now there's no excuse, no excuse. You'll figure you're out a way. Your, you're dating yourself there a bit though, but, I, you know, I, I, <laughs> but listen, I, I, you know, what you did say where there's a will, there's a way. That is a true statement. And, you know, I always say Rome wasn't built in one night, right? So a lot of times people get caught up in, wanting to get there so fast, but not working on the now and just enjoying the process. Because even as you said, when you get there, you might realize that, oh my gosh, now, you know, people, they don't look at you on the same level anymore and it changes the playing field, right? So enjoy the now.